bum bum. What is your nightmare bum, blunt bum, bum, rotation? My nightmare blunt rotation is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Machine Gun Kelly. Here, let's put this together. Let's put this together. This is our new project now. You know how, like, in school you get, like, an assignment, right? Like, you do something for the day as a class. So, today's assignment is creating the worst nightmare blunt rotation. I'm going to start with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. And a really good picture of him, too. Alright. I have to make that a little bigger, am I right? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Hang on, sorry. I just, I had to come back to reality for a second. <laughs> We're gonna make the ultimate nightmare blunt rotation. <laughs> the, and then we get red. Ultimate. It's the ultimate nightmare blunt rotation of all time. Governors Ron DeSantis and Kevin Stitt and Ted Cruz. We can't, okay, here are the rules. It can't just be political. It can't just, it has to be the ultimate. So including fucking shitty artists that are assholes, like celebrities, general weirdos, right? We have to include everybody. Hitler? I feel like that one's pretty obvious. <laughs> I feel like that just brings the vibes down, though. Shane Dawson belongs on here. The people have spoken. Ugh. The people have made me look up uh, photos of Shane Dawson, and now you have to look at them with me. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, I feel like I'm boiling <laughs> in water. Let's use this one. Oh, it stings. <laughs> I feel like we have to label them. James Corden, I also is, I agree is probably, probably gotta be on here. Use this image of James Corden. <laughs> Hang on, I have to label, that, sorry guys, that was rough. I have to label Shane Dawson. <laughs> I fucking spelled it wrong. I think it's clear enough. You can't edit the text again in MS Paint. Somebody said, Oli London, yeah. Oli London. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty bad. How do you look like this? <laughs> like you really, you chose to look kind of like a, like a horse. <laughs> reverts back. What? Wait, Oli London reverts back to being a man? <laughs> Oli London is a Christian now. What? <laughs> He's a turf now? Wow, being a woman is not for me. Wait, is Ollie in London the Korean person? The person that said my pronouns are Korean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's who I thought it was. So now he just says everyone feels the same way I do. Like you had something wrong with your brain. It has nothing to do with you being trans or not. That's wild. Gotta make the money to pay those fucking... Gotta money... Gotta make the money to pay off all the fucking debts from the surgery somehow. Add this to the... Ooh. I don't know who this is. Steve will do it. But I think I can crop him out. Well, I think we can crop him out. He's gonna be a little bigger than that, mate. Truly. Bye! <laughs> I killed him. This is just a- they already made a Nightmare Blunt rotation. It's gonna be the- like the worst possible one. All of the Nightmare Blunt rotations unite to create this one. Ed Sheeran next, this boy. Ed Sheeran. This guy too. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I don't want to use this picture, but yeah. Wait, what's this? <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. That's the perfect one, because Grimes would also fucking suck too. Yeah! That's perfect. That's the perfect one. 
Mariah Carey? Yeah, if you say something weird like that, you gotta provide me some evidence. Oh, Elon, no! Um, <laughs> Elon Musk? Elon Musk is right there. Here he is. Amy Schumer? Ooh, I think so. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> he looks bald. <laughs> He looks like he's just got a little bowl on his head. What's he doing with a bowl on his head? Ooh, a little cringe. The Joker. <laughs> okay. Ricky Gervais. We just gotta make sure that like, we just, <laughs> I like this one, it's so serious. We gotta make sure that we're balanced, right? We don't want it to only be politicians, but we don't want it to only be comedians. We want it to be everyone. Bella Porch. Who's that? <laughs> is she in the military? Who is this? Bella Porch. Wait, that's not her name? Why is that? What the fuck? That's weird, right? <laughs> How did you not know her? Dude, I hear all these TikTokers names. Fucking Bella Porch, other ones. I don't know. I've, I've heard their names and shit, but like, I don't know who they are. Bella Hadid, that's another one. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. I just hear people talk about them and I'm like, okay. I never hear particularly good or bad things. And if I do, I can never remember who they are. It's like such a weird blind spot in my head. She's a model. Okay. <laughs> Cross-eyed uwu pick me. How is she a pick me? Military career. She's a Navy veteran. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, she's married. <laughs> She's getting divorced. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm not putting her on the thing because I don't know anything about her. You guys have to provide evidence if I don't. If you guys really want Bella Porch, you have to show me why. She's in the Nightmare Blunt rotation. Keemstar, see, there we go. Dude, there's going to be like a thousand people in this fucking picture. <laughs> Let's use this one of him and his daughter. There's going to be like a thousand people in this in this list and if he ever saw that he was in it he would literally make a whole video about it <laughs> just because he's in it Kyle Rittenhouse is a really good one Paul and Morgan here's the photo oh yikes is this just a list of people I don't like more or less but it's a funny list of people I don't like because it's also not a lie like you can't disagree with me I'm right. It's That's like one of those things. I'm right, but I'm not allowed to say it. I think cancel culture is a problem. You don't have to label them all. I, but for clarity, I don't want someone to see this and be like, I don't know who these people are. I, not knowing their name wouldn't necessarily make it that much better, but <laughs> someone said Ned Fulmer. I don't know who that is. Who's this guy? Oh, the, that's the guy who cheated on his wife or whatever. He cheated on his wife with an employee. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm not putting him in the Nightmare Blunt rotation because he seems like a, he's not like a, I don't want to say he's not a bad person, but like that's his private life. It's hard for me to judge someone based on things I should never know. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like none of my business. It's not, like, a good thing to do, but it's hard to be like he's a bad person because of it. JonTron, absolutely. But also, I feel like you can get, like, JonTron is in all of them. <laughs> a little bit of JonTron scattered throughout. Jim Carrey? I don't know about Jim Carrey. I liked him in Dumb and Dumber. If I saw him, I'd be like, okay, he makes those funny paintings. Doesn't he do those paintings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck is this website? Whoa! What year is this? These are good, Jim Carrey. This is so nice. Wow. This one's a little on the nose, but Jim Carrey's a good painter. Why do you guys want him in the Nightmare Blunt rotation? Wow. What the fuck? He made that? That's a, that's a weird fucking statue. Okay. okay. Jim Carrey's very transphobic. Oh. <laughs> but, but guys, look at this. This is pretty good. Jim Carrey fucking... He, he popped his pussy out for that one. <laughs> Dude, look at this guy. He's got nothing going on in his head. 
Dude, his head's just full of marbles that roll around. It's got cobwebs in there and shit. He's so dumb. Uh oh. I don't want to include that innocent lady in there. Yeah. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> no one's gonna know that's him. <laughs> he's just so funny. He's just such a funny guy. You know what? I like this one. He looks really happy here. I cut a little of Kyle, Kyle's portion out, but right where he belongs. This is in no particular order, because it's a blunt rotation, right? Tommy Lauren, Candace Owens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Urgh, she looks so serious. Look at me. I'm so serious. I have really stupid ideas, but I'm really stern. It's how I am. This is basically like, uh, you know those like Super Smash Brothers dream rosters? This is kind of like one of those, but it sucks. Except I would like to see them all fight each other. That would be funny. I like Darman for sure. Well, they made the whites of his eyes really white and they made his teeth really white and his lips really pink. Ugh. Milo Yiannopoulos. Milo. Maybe. I'll think about him. Oh, I like this picture, darn man. JK Rowling, Blair White, the Lord Jesus Christ. I think Blair White's a good one. I want to find a funny, funny picture. God, she's so, like, annoying. <laughs> All right, I don't want to scroll up too far down now. They're showing skin. Does Blair White have nudes out there? I'm not asking for, for me. I'm just asking, like, does she sell nudes? Like, I'm not... Guys... I'm not seeing that for any reason. Here, here's another double whammy. Don't implicate me. No, she it, she would never, cause she's a traditional conservative with traditional values. This is a this is a double whammy, cause Tim Pool's in there too. If we're adding Blair White, add Buck Angel. No, I don't want to do Echo Fighters, okay? <laughs> Buck Angel is a Echo Fighter of Blair White. <laughs> I want, like, she represents that kind of person already. You know what I mean? Oh, I like, okay, someone, people keep saying Jordan Peterson. I like Dr. Oz more than Jordan Peterson. And more or less, now that Dr. Oz is a Republican, they're kind of the same. They have the same values, they represent the same things. Dr. Oz just has boomer fans. That's the only difference. And he just talks a little bit more about food. He kind of looks like the Green Goblin, you ever notice that? If if he was cast as Norman Osborn in like a Green Goblin situation in a Spider-Man movie, I think that'd be pretty good. Chris Angel. Chris Angel would be pretty funny. But is Chris Angel worse or is David Blaine worse? Because David Blaine's also pretty bad. I like Chris Angel more than I like David Blaine. Mitt Romney, yeah, we gotta get some Mormon representation on here. Gus Johnson or Cut the BS. Ben Shapiro would be a literal nightmare. He wouldn't stop talking. True. Gus is really funny. I'm totally putting Gus on here. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. It's like, it's about vibes. It's not about what they've done. I'll think about Margaret Thatcher. Pro Jared is really good. I think between Pro Jared, Gus Johnson, and Shane Dawson, I think we've got the YouTubers covered. I don't think we need any more YouTubers. This looks like like the reboot of Pro Jared, you know? It's like Pro Jared Generations. You know what I mean? Oh my god, the Yandere Dev. Yeah, that's a little more niche. PewDiePie needs to be on here. That's a little more niche of a, of a reference. So not many people will get it, but it does deserve to be on there. Looks like Linguini. He does look like Linguini. There's something I don't know about PewDiePie. I feel like I'm going out back to take care of old Yeller. There's something you shouldn't know about PewDiePie. I'm sorry, girl. We gotta, we gotta put you down. Fuck, I gotta heal. You know, the moments before disaster are often the stillest. The lessons most lear worth learning are learned the hard way. And the curse of this stream, the funniest part, is that every time we go back and look at something that's, like, common um, and that people kind of have gotten over on the internet, it's so much worse than we all collectively remember. Like, remember when we looked at... <laughs> You're trying to stick bug me to stop it. You're too late. <laughs> you can't stop me with the stick bug now that has the cooldown. You can't stop me. <laughs> Remind me of what I was saying or I'll fucking blow it up. I'll do it. I'll do it on full volume. I'm so stoned. <laughs> what we look at every time. Yeah, it's always so much worse than we remember. Remember when we looked at Jenna Marbles? 
and everyone's like, oh, like I'm so sad she left, and it's like, she some of the shit that she did was pretty bad, <laughs> like, and this I feel like is one of those moments. Ethan, please don't do it. You have so much to live for. You're so young. You can't talk me down. I just, I haven't heard this clip in a while. I haven't heard this clip in a long time, and neither have you guys. And I just know it's going to hit, and it's going to burn. It's going to suck so bad. <laughs> just the one person in chat is like, do it, do it, do it. And I want to make it perfectly clear. I'm showing you guys this because I have no fucking sympathy, and I think he's, and at least it, especially it was at this point, pretty fucking racist. <laughs> what a fuck That's like it's just like it just fucking comes out of nowhere. Like it's fucking horrific. What else is going in here? Christian Walker? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, he looks so fucked up. Yeah, don't fall asleep during this stream because um, you'll wake up to a wall of the worst faces you could possibly see. Elon Musk's mom? That's, that's a banger. Literally a fucking demon. An actual demon. Sh wait, why? She kinda a banger. The lesbians in the chat have got to calm down. Elon's mom, Elon mom's Musk. Elon Musk's mom is a banger. That's a one second ban. And what you guys don't know is that goes on your permanent record. Check it out. It goes on your permanent record. I can see when I time you out. This isn't your first offense. Sheriff Pethan is taking you in. <laughs> Cuff me up. Discipline us. Okay. Dream. I'll do with and without the mask, so people know who it is. Oh, I think Caitlyn Bennett. Ew, this is so gross. I don't feel like I can show that on the screen. That's disgusting, and there was a baby too. No, they were both pretty nasty. I'm not taking it easy on the baby, that shit's gross. Nicole Arbor. Ah! <laughs> Damn it. And she fits perfectly right there. And if we need more space, we create more, my children. Austin McBroom, Jimmy Fallon, these are both very good. Ace Daddy, bro. Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel. James Kimmel. I love him. I like him more than I like Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's the obvious pick. But Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Campbell. People don't think, people don't give him enough shit because Jimmy Kimmel takes, takes all the fucking heat because he's more obviously annoying. But Jimmy Kimmel is very subtly annoying. It's Charles for obvious reasons and he would turn it into a singing opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I almost probably saw ass picture. He looks like a cornucopia stuffed Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Chris Pratt is a homophobe. Oh yeah, he did try to Chris Pratt cat on Twitter and was in Stuart Little. He's going to give away the Stuart Little cat. Granted, that was a long time ago. I don't feel like he fits. I'm not this not means he it doesn't mean he's a good guy. I just don't feel like he has the right vibes to be a bad blunt rotation member. He's not Mormon. Yeah, he's Mario. People get that confused sometimes. Oh yeah, Kanye I think this is both good, actually. That's another Ethan, twofer. Did you forget Kanye is already on there. Where? Oh shit, Kanye is already on there. Well, this is what we do, folks. We make do with what we got. And out of that transaction, life gives you life gives you Drakes. Put it in there. Uh, speaking on that same thread, this little fucking rat. Have you guys seen the video of him eating a booger? Nick Fuentes is a. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Fuentes is an out and about uh, American Christian nationalist Nazi who recently just met with Kanye West and was taken to meet Donald Trump, which is hilarious. And Donald Trump had to be like, I don't know him, never heard of him before. And Kanye's like, Trump was really impressed because obviously Donald Trump knows who Nick Fuentes is. He's weaponized that side of the right before. But publicly, he's like, I don't know. Some crazy kid. I hear he has some pretty crazy ideas. I hear he has a crazy idea. <laughs> That's not, that wasn't very good. I hear he has a crazy idea. I don't know what's happening anymore. Crazy idea. 
This is obviously an edit, but here's the pic. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's so gross! Ah, he's really sucking on that! <laughs> oh, Christ. It's just on his bed. Why is he doing like an inner- Why is he on a, in a suit on his bed? What kind of guy is that? Oh yeah, we got a Gus Johnson. How could I forget? <laughs> he's so scary looking. Honestly, this this first picture is creepy enough. Oh man, there we go. Never mind me. Put him right next to Ed. Gus Johnson looks like he's gonna ask if I want some candy. <laughs> Gus Johnson's just kind of a bad dude. I don't know how to do, describe. Somebody asked what he what he did. It's like a lot of stuff. <laughs> he was a shithead. I know that's not helpful. And also it's like, I'm very close friends with the person he was shitty to. I, we met after it all happened, but it's like, obviously I would never fucking support someone who's like that to my friend. Brent Rivera. Is that Ariana Grande? What? That's not real. The two comments are from the same person and it says Ariana Grande. I love you. That's not her, is it? Yeah, it doesn't look like her at all. I love this one, dude. It's not even fully loaded, but it's so funny. Take my hands. <laughs> Ethan is the requirement for the list of vibe thing. Them being a bad person, a mix, or either or. Mainly vibes, because we want to keep it lighthearted. For the most part. But also, like, we got Ron DeSantis. We got Caitlyn Bennett. Like, they're also bad people. My pillow guy? I, uh, no. Okay, we need to clarify something real fast. M smoking weed with the my pillow guy would be the coolest thing ever because he used to smoke crack. And you know that, that fucking dog, you know he's got that dog in him. And he's gonna fucking go off on some hilarious tangents. Papa John, I think, is kind of funny. Seth MacFarlane. Now we're going for real people, not fictional guys. Not, uh, not to Seth MacFarlane, I was replying to a, a one that I didn't read out loud. Alright, here he is. Oh, the Bang Energy guy! Yeah! This guy's gonna fucking kill me. Rudy Giuliani? Uh, debatable. Old men with ADHD are like my hyperfixation. That shit's awesome. The Nostalgia Critic, yes! Oh my god, yes! I just gotta go a classic nostalgia. Oh no no no! Yeah yeah yeah! This guy built like a troll face. Like this this being said, I would 100% do it. I would 100% smoke with Doug Walker just to say that I've done it. But I don't think it would be very good. Ted Cruz, probably. You know what's fucked up for Ted Cruz? I will say the argument that a beard is just makeup for men uh, is true. 100% is it like it just like makes you look better, right? It's an aesthetic that you can choose to have that makes you look better. And while Kit Ted Cruz does look like a, he's melting in all the pictures of him without a beard, the pictures of him with a beard are really not that much better. They're just, he looks just as gross, but for different reasons. You know what I mean? He looks like a meatball somebody dropped in it, like rolled into like a dust bunny on the floor. And like, what's with this? Like, it's so white here. He looks like a skunk. Awaken with JP? Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. Hmm. Machine Gun Kelly. Why isn't Dave Chappelle on there yet? I don't know. I feel like that's a little too easy. Also, smoking weed with Dave Chappelle, I feel like, would not really be that bad. I feel like you could talk to him about stuff. Because he does have a lot of good wisdom on, like, you know, America and his experience. And he, you know, channels it in really interesting ways. He's just also really dumb about trans people. So I don't think smoking with him would be bad. Rachel Dolezal. I feel like that would also be really funny. I think Brett Cooper is good. God, she looks like a robot in this. She looks like a face app. She looks like an AI generated person that doesn't exist. Oh, uh, someone said Chris Angel. I think better yet, I'll do you one better, David Blaine. He's worse. Cause Chris Angel at least looks cool. And he like has this like cool fucking hot topic punk energy. I love that. I live for that. That's camp. David Blaine just goes like, I'd like to eat some glass in front of you. Like, at best, he's not entertaining. Chris Angel, at best, very entertaining. Isaac Butterfield, yeah, he would not be fun high. The worst feminist on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was an edit. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Jordan Peterson this morning. You fucking bumped into him at the airport. Shut the fuck up. You didn't have a meeting with him. What about Kevin Spacey? 
He looks like a little mobster here. You know, Bill Maher I want to add on here. This looks like he's like, he's like Dark dark Bill. <laughs> God, he's such a fucking creep. Willem Dafoe, not because he did anything bad, he just kind of scares me. I love Willem Dafoe, fuck you, bastard. Who's Anna Kendrick? This sounds familiar, remind me. Oh, who's this bastard? Billy Eichner. Fuck that guy. I hate this motherfucker. Ew, why is he, he looks like a completely different person in these pictures. All white people look the same. I like this one. He's creepy. Why don't we like Billy Eichner? I just don't think he's funny at all. I hate his comedy and his personality and he's a lib. Lena Dunham. Correct. Lin-Manuel Miranda is, I agree. He looks so empty. What did Lin-Manuel Miranda do? He made Hamilton. He's just whack. He's just not cool. Like, look at him doing the fucking lip bite. Ugh. He's such a weirdo and he's a mega lib. Play the, oh my god. Manuel Miranda lip bite picks. Terry so many. No, I know there's so many. Yeah, we have to watch this. Tim Kane off. Tim Kane in the membrane. Tim Kane in the brain. You know, everyone's ugh, everyone's favorite. Tim Kane, Hillary Clinton's vice presidential pick that fucking is horrible. He sucks. But that's why he's on the list. Jared Kushner's pretty good. This fucking Mr. Burns looking motherfucker. I think we could throw in another grifter in here too. I think a Matt Walsh is solid. He's so smug. Matt Walsh, no beard. Ew. <laughs> yeah, I like this era. Macklemore? Maybe. I feel like Eminem would be a better one for Macklemore. They're Echo Fighters. Drake Bell is good. Why do they take pictures so close? Back up. Who is this? It's like your grandma? I think Jeff Bezos is an obvious one. Lex Luthor looking ass, dude. He says he's gonna give away all of his wealth. Guys, I feel like I've heard that from every billionaire ever. Do we have the Zuck? I think he counts for all three of them. I think he's good enough to cover all that. Tulsi, I think you're right. Grimes, guess what? She's right there. <laughs> I like this one, she's just kind of standing there. <laughs> Just like awkwardly standing. This is really shaping up. Ellen, that's a good one. Kentucky State Gun Girl, already in. Caitlin Bennett is in. Why y'all saying George Lucas? Oh, cause they're right. Have you seen his wife? His wife is really pretty. She's like really, she's like insanely out of his <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> that's crazy. No blunt when George knew Lucas? Fuck no. This greedy motherfucker. You guys forget. You guys are young Star Wars fans. You don't remember the special editions. You don't remember how he fucking made the original version of Star Wars completely unwatchable. The last time they released uh, the original cut of Star or of any of the Star Wars movies was on the Laserdisc. So you can't watch these movies as they were intended. I mean, guys, you're going to make me talk about Star Wars. You're going to make me talk about Star Wars, okay? I'm only going to show you one, one example. This is the most batshit thing George Lucas ever did. Multiple seconds where you can't see past this stupid fucking CG dinosaur. Crazy, bro. Still the version you watch now. You guys have not seen Star Wars enough. People get in a conversation about Star Wars on the internet having not known anything fucking about it. And we haven't even talked about goddamn Jabba the Hutt. This is a completely added in shot where they covered over uh, an outtake. This wasn't in the original fucking movie. It adds nothing. It does nothing. It's a waste of time. And look how bad he looks. He looks like dog shit. Anyway, that's why George Lucas is in the Nightmare Brown rotation. Also, all of the prequels and everything destroying Star Wars. Who's Kevin O'Leary? Oh, from Shark Master. I like that. Oh, you know what? Uh, Kristen Cinema. I'm adding. <laughs> why did I think her last name was spelled like cinema, like the movie theater? We gotta get her in one of her classic outfits. Yeah. Her style keeps us guessing. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Right next to Pro Jared up there. Oh, you know who else I'm gonna put? Matt Pat. Matthew Patrick. I would not want to smoke a blunt with him. Yeah, right next to Casey Anthony. Trisha Paytas, I think, yeah. What's her kid's name? Fucking Malibu Barbie fucking... 1097 piece Lego set fucking dream house. I like when people started lying on the internet saying that she named her uh, baby after the fucking queen. Gabby Hanna. Whatever happened with her? Was she just like faking all that shit? Or like what was up with all that? 
like recently like all that shit that happened she was like super manic and then some guy like came into her house like people kept saying it was to try to promote music but it, i i didn't think it was but maybe i'm just naive she just promoted her new music after that's crazy who else scott cawthon yeah i feel like i gotta use this because nobody actually knows what it looks like i mean obviously it looks like this or whatever <laughs> but nobody knows that that's him Matt Pat tried to say, Scott Cawthon isn't transphobic. He's just anti-immigration and pro-life. That's my <laughs> Matt Pat impression. But that's just a theory. A game theory. A transphobia theory. Butch Hartman? Remember yeah. Remember when you said you were gonna label all these pictures? No. Dude, this was so fucking funny. I love how he, like, plagiarized it and he still fucked up the hand. He also made her even more hourglass shaped, which is pretty fucking wild. He looks like Papa John, doesn't he? These guys have like the same fucking vibes, 100%. Maybe they don't look that much alike, but I think they look very similar. Papa John, but square, true. Mr. Beast, for sure we're adding Mr. Beast. Are you kidding me? I would never fucking smoke with that guy. Here he is. Oh, Zach Baggins, 1 million percent. What kind of name is Zach Baggins anyway? That's not fucking real. She bagging my Zach. Until I have an adventure. He pronounces it Bagans? That's so stupid. Who's Steven Cheryl? Oh, yeah. Why did I think we were done with YouTubers? We're certain there's so many more. Oh, you know what? John Legend. This dude's just kind of a weirdo. Just bad vibes all around. Oh, yeah. Fergie, for sure. <laughs> I make them so small now. Abby Lee Miller? Oh, true. For sure. My grandma. Okay. Ugh. Normal guy. Kind of looks like Shane Dawson. Could be like Shane Dawson's weird uncle, you know? I don't know. This is, uh... I think we have a pretty comprehensive list here. Now I just need... I need some weed clip art to decorate it. I think that's good. I'll save that. A plus. <laughs> well, good job on the assignment. We did it, chat.